this is for the adults now we going for the pediatric population now pediatric population is different here you see adults everyone you don't require usually you don't require the weight of that adult person whether is it an 80 milligram or a 70 milligram uh, 70 sorry 70 kilogram or 80 kilogram whatever is the uh, weight of the patient it doesn't matter but when you come into the pediatrics it does matter and you also need to know the weight of the pediatric population of that child and you also must include this into your prescription writing that we discussed that prescription writing has name age uh, here weight is a crucial thing for the pediatric population you must have to have a weight of that child while you are writing up writing up a prescription now we will come to how are you going to write that prescription here you see here uh, there is the in in pediatrics the suspension the liquids that uh, that comes in is 125 milligram per 5 ml or 250 milligram per 5 ml this is the strength you river yeah yani every 5 ml has this much of milligrams every 5 ml of this bottle has 250 milligram but if there if there is another bottle which says which is written 250 milligram per 5 ml that means every 5 ml has 250 milligram of strength so if you want to give if you want to give any child 250 milligram you will give 5 ml it will equals to 250 milligram clear yeah yes sir. clear okay now if you see here how are you going to calculate the different doses of different uh, children we will take per example of paracetamol syrup we have written syrup here that that will uh, signify is that okay now this is uh, we are talking about liquids syrup paracetamol the usually the syrup paracetamol comes in 125 mg per 5 ml or 250 mg per 5 ml this is the uh, this is the company branding here the 5 ml contains 125 mg and here the 5 ml contains 250 mg okay now we will calculate how much dose we require for the sake of um, for the sake of simplicity if i have a child whose weight is 10 kilogram okay and uh, the dose the required dose is for the paracetamol it is 10 milligram per kg per dose yani each time you give a child uh, it should have 10 milligram per kg for instance the child weight is 10 kilogram then what you will do is 10 milligram per kg for 10 gram kilograms you will uh, you will give how much what is the dose 10 100 10 which is included to 100 milligrams so this is the dose of the child you you are going to give to the child who is 10, whose weight is 10 kilogram okay now we will go to we, we calculate first the milligram per dose now we'll see how much the strength available we have a strength of 125 milligram per 5 ml okay so you will see that you have in 1 ml that means that in 1 ml the 1 ml there is 25 milligrams so each ml is 25 milligram you want to achieve 100 milligram so you will give 4 ml because each ml is 25 so 4 ml will equals to 5 milligram so that child requires 125 milligram per 5 ml strength of 4 ml are you getting this doctor yes if a child was uh, over 50 kilos can we give him uh, one tablet Tablets. The child is if the child is 50 kilogram, you don't give you don't consider this child as a child, it will convert it into adults. The baby, the child of the parents will remain a child, but in scientifically, it is not a child and or it is not it's not coming in the pediatric age group. It will be uh, dealt as a an adult. So every if the patient, if the child is 45 up till 45 or 40 kilograms. It we, we calculate the dose as per kg. But after that, 
you will you will uh, you will assume that this child is not under the category of children it is an adult now so you will give as 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 an adult dose like 500 mg of once daily or q4 hourly or q6 hourly like an adult you don't treat it as a child so you don't need to calculate the dose per kg thank you doctor okay all right so here so yes 125 over 5 uh what does it mean it means that you are using uh the strength of the uh, the do the drug the drug available the drug is available in 125 mg per 5 ml we we strength this is the strength of that drug 125 mg per 5 ml 250 250 mg per 5 ml so which strength you are using in your prescription so to to 250 over 5 mg is equal 50 mg right 50 mg per 1 ml right yes yes here it is 50 mg per 1 ml if you want if, for instance the child weight is is greater is 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 bigger like 15 kg or 18 kg so you can uh, you can use this strength in order to calculate the ml you know what in the end you you are going to give the patient an ml or an attendant an ml you are going to ask the patient that you will take this ml of um, this ml of this drug but you need to calculate it in the milligrams and convert it into nml are you getting this this is going this is going to be complicated so if you're not clear no problem you can ask again and again and clear your understanding yes yes clear okay so here it is 25 mg okay and uh, 4 ml for instance i have a question if i use i use this 125 all right if i use or the pharmacist say that okay i have doctor i have 250 mg per 5 ml uh bottle so now how much ml you are going to give 2 ml 2 ml that's very nice why because now the, divided by 50 each ml has each uh, each ml is equals to 50 mg as compared to this it is 25 mg now it is 50 mg so you will give now the dose of uh any yani now it is the 100 mg is equals to 2 ml so if the strength is changed the ml is going to be changed so uh, you can also prescribe intelligently in order to get any yani pediatric age group is a very difficult age group and you need to be very careful while you are giving the medications so that way the patient has to just take only 2 ml not 4 ml so you have decreased actually the amount of uh, medication but the strength is the same so you can also play it like that okay same if the child is it age is uh, if the child weight is 15 kg then 150 mg is the total dose which will which will equals to 6 ml per dose okay so it depends on what is the uh, what you need in uh, in the prescription you need two things one is if you know that what is the age, what is the age of the what is the weight of the child not the age weight of the child number one or you know what is the strength that is available uh, like 125 or 250 or whatever the third thing is you if you know the what is the we we give the we give 10 mg per kg per dose the dose how much is the dose this is the four step process so if i write here in order to calculate first step weight weight good if you know the weight second step strength strength 
right? What is the market strength, uh, which is uh, uh, dash mg per ml dash ml. Okay. So if you know this, third step, uh, the dose. This is the principle. The dose is like uh, dash milligram per kg per dose. Okay, the, the dosing is a tricky thing. Here, the dosing thing is there are the drugs available in two kind of, there are two formats. So there are two principles for the dosing. One is this, and the other is dash milligram per kg per day. Okay, there's a difference. What is the difference? Total amount of doses. Total amount of doses. It is the total amount. And now it's a kind of a tricky thing now. Now you know the fourth step. If you if you have understand these three steps, then it comes to the fourth step. The fourth step is the frequency, TID or BID or once daily. Okay. <clears throat> Here, you, the job is uh, easy. If the, if, the, if the child is, if you want to give, uh, uh, like for instance, uh, Azomex, it's once daily. You calculate the dose per day and you will get, the, you will get it all at once. But if, the do, if you have calculated the dose, what, that sub, something milligram per kg per day, and you want to give it into TID or BID, you will then, divide this into three and give the each at one time or divide it into two if you want to give BID. So that is a fourth step, whether you want to give the patient a BID or a TID or a once daily. And whether you have calculated the dose into per kg per dose or per kg per day, that will define that you need to divide the dose or you don't need to divide the dose, okay? So if it is those, doctor, we not need the day we need, right? Yeah. What? what? Can you repeat? Uh, if, uh, if we calculate the dose, uh -huh. as we do in the examples, we not need to divide it by the two or three. Uh, yes. If we, if the no 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 for the dose you don't need to divide because it you are actually mm -hmm. calculating it uh, once daily, yani per dose. So you you replicate this. Like if here it's uh, we give it we take the uh, example of paracetamol. Paracetamol gives PID or TID, but the good thing is that we have calculated it per dose. Okay, so if we have uh, what is the if we have four ml, so this is per this is the uh, this is this this is the dose that will give per dose. So five ml, and you want to give TID five ml plus five ml plus five ml three times, you give the same dose because you have calculated it in per doses but if you have if you have calculated this paracetamol you don't you, you don't actually calculate paracetamol in per day but there are some other medications which calculate you which, which you calculate the dose in per day at that if you have calculated it from per day you need to divide that in the in this scenario in per day you will divide divide the dose accordingly huh bid so. yes and how can we know the total amount of dose per day per day uh, you will find out uh, i will just give you you just need to remember two three things not more than that this is the principle okay you will okay. know that the some doses, some drugs will require you to calculate it per dose and some requires you to calculate it by per day. We will take just few examples here. Amoxicillin. 
Amoxicillin strength comes in 125 milligram per 5 ml, 250 milligram per 5 ml. And here, how, what is the first? What is the first step for the amoxicillin? Okay. If you will apply this, you need to calculate the dose of the amoxicillin. Um, this is our principle, and I go down. And let's see, uh, where, let's apply this principle to amoxicillin. So I, I ask you to calculate the, um, the dose of amoxicillin. The first step is? This is not the weight. Uh, okay, I say that the child weight is 10 kilograms, 10 kg. Okay. Then you know what? The strength. Huh? I say that okay, the strength is 125 milligram per kg per 5 ml. Now what? What do you want? Calculate the dose. Dose, okay. The dose uh, in this, if you see here, it is 25 milligram, but here this uh, for this you calculated 25 milligram 20 that i say that it is i i want to give this dose as 25 milligram per kg per day amoxicillin uh, I calculate i will say amoxicillin okay <clears throat> we are calculating the amoxicillin dose now So you give BID or TID? BID or TID. Okay. If you want, I say that, okay, give TID. All right. So first you need to calculate the whole dose. What is the whole dose? If the child weight is 10? 250. Uh -huh. And your, 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 your the whole dose? 25. Uh -huh. Because we and that for, for them. yes, two fifty. Yes, the dose is twenty five into ten is equal to two fifty milligrams. This is the total dose. You you calculate this because I say that in the beginning I am giving this dose is calculated by per day. Here you have 250 milligram per kg two fifty milligram is actually not per kg two fifty milligram the total ten kg per day. This is the dose of the whole day. Now since you have calculated it per day, you then need to divide the dose. If you want if you say that okay doctor, I want to give it BID for so the BID. Yes, you will divide it into 125 point 250 divided by oh, no. mm -hmm. how much 125. Huh? Okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, now you this is the for the BID. Okay, what well, now? Now, how you prescribe 125 per dose huh? per 5 ml. How you will present? Uh, four ml, four ml, four ml. Then for those. One twenty-five milligram is equals to how much ml? Five ml. Five ml. Okay. Now okay. you will give five ml in the morning and five ml in the night. BID. Okay. Since likewise, if you want to convert it into, for say that I want to give it Doctor TID then you probably need to divide it by three and the answer will going to be different. It depends on, uh, it depends on that. So we'll, we'll, uh, we, we will uh, you know, fix ourselves into BID. It's, it's easier for you guys to calculate, okay? <clears throat> so this is the principle. If you know this information of anything, you can calculate and give the uh, patient anything. You should know the principle. If I give you something, you should be able to calculate the exact dose. 
the BID or TID. We will look here. Amoxicillin is strength is this, uh, giving BID or TID. Uh, the dose is 225 milligram per kg per day. Okay, the same goes with augmentin. Augmentin and amoxicillin we calculated the same way because it has amoxicillin in it and uh, you don't calculate the same way you calculate the amoxyl dose, you will calculate the augmented dose. Now we have a simpler doses, azithromycin. Azithromycin is given 10 milligram per kg per day. If the, and it is uh, available in uh, 250 milligram or 500 milligram. Um, actually here, uh, not, this is, this is the adult, the children's is hundred milligram, uh, hundred milligram per five ML or, uh, 200 milligram per five ML. So you have this, these two strengths. Okay. If the child weight is 10 kg. How much is the azithromycin he will require per day? 10 into 10? 100. 100. Okay. Now the azithromycin is given once daily or twice? Once daily. Once daily. So you will give 100. So the dose will become 100 milligram per day. So you can use this. For if you're using this strength, you will ask the patient that you need to give, you need to take five ml once daily. But if the pharmacist say that I have this, then you will give how much ml per day? Uh, two and a half. Two and a half. So 2.5 ml per day will be your dose. Same is cefexime. Cefexime is also the same strength. Cefexime has is also 10 milligram per kg per day. You calculate the dose like this. It is also given once daily and you will calculate the same way. Paracetamol is also like the same. The strength is this, but here the it is calculated as we discussed in our example, 10 milligram per kg per dose. Ibuprofen also calculated by per dose. So if you want to give TID or BID, you will multiply that. If the 5 ml is the dose, you will give 5 ml, 5 ml, 5 ml. If uh, 6 ml is the dose, 6 ml, 6 ml, 6 ml, TID or BID. All right. Um, this is also the same. 100. Actually, the here it is, uh, it is available in 125 milligram and 250 milligram. And you can look up the ibuprofen strength. So uh, for now, for the pediatric age group, I think these are the medications are more than enough, but it will income. Yani, the idea here is you should know the principle. How are you going to give the dose to the pediatric population? Because pediatric population is very, yani, is very difficult and it's very tricky. So you need to know the exact uh, uh, amount, uh, you need to know the exact weight uh, in order to calculate the dose of that patient. Okay. So for the pediatric thing, it is, it is like that. Doctor, the difference between pediatric and adult is only uh, in the dose uh, column, right? Yes. The dose column and obviously the strength, yani the form. You don't give, uh, usually don't give ch children capsule or tablets. You give syrups or suspensions. But the dose is obviously different. The main thing is the dose. Okay. Okay. 